Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Well today I'm very excited to film this video and I'm trying to film it with natural lights. I don't always get this opportunity to use the natural light for filming my videos because I often film them during the night but it's Sunday here in Sweden today when I'm filming this video and I'm very excited that it's sunny today so I can film it. So I'm filming a lot today, a couple of videos actually. Uh, I was tagged in a video by my best friend on YouTube, I can call her that. Her name is Valerie, she tagged me in this video. If I could only keep one item per makeup category, category tag. So I was very excited to be part of this tag. Now, it took me a while to prepare for this video just because I have so much makeup. I have so much makeup and I love many things. And um, yeah, it took me a while to, to prepare. Now, if you hear my child playing around, he's a little bit loud. I'm sorry for that. If you want to see what products I'm going to talk about and what products are my favorite, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's start with the basics. Let's start from skin. Okay, the product that I really, really love and I'll always purchase uh, and it's this primer. This is the new primer from Revolution Pro Pore Primer. I love this primer. I use it every day since I got it and I can't be without it. Without it. So what I do is I take this on my T-zone where I have my pores and I'm actually using this spray all over my skin. And this is the makeup primer spray from Scandinavia. Now I hate the mist. I think it sprays uneven. It sprays like a lot up and down, but in the middle doesn't come any product at all. This one I will definitely take. This is from my primers, my skin primers. I will choose this one. For our pri eye primers, I'm <laughs> going to film this video, guys. I'm going to film this video. But one of the eyeshadow primers that I like, that I will pick. If I have to pick between all of the eyeshadow primers that I own, I will take this. This is Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer it's one that i've been using a lot and i actually like it so this primer for my eyes so this is how it is to be interrupted from my son i have to fix his lego guy there goes the head sorry okay this it's not easy to play with lego when you have big nails long nails so and the head dina yeah. come so talk mommies mommies <laughs> okay uh -huh. sorry guys so eyeshadow primer face primer then after priming uh the concealer that i really like forgot to take it out that I will definitely repurchase. That I definitely think it's worth the money because it's a little bit pricey. It's this from NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I have in shade Vanilla. I love this and mine is almost empty. Really, really love this concealer. So I will definitely repurchase this one. I'm kind of curious to try the one in the jar, uh, but maybe I will try that before I purchase this one. But I really, really like it. I have two others that I love. Estee Love the Double Wear and also the um, Revolution one. But for some reason, I really like this one. Then to set foundation and a concealer, this was a hard thing to do, to pick a powder. Uh, I actually picked this one. My new favorite is from L'Oreal True Match Mineral Minerals Mattifying Powder. Really, I hate the packaging. The packaging I really hate. I don't like because this one is too deep so i can't really come to the product and this has this kind of pack i don't know i just don't like the packaging but i really like the product really like the product so this one i will definitely choose i also love from flower beauty that i got from my friend valerie uh, this one but this is so powdery guys this powder flies everywhere you have to be careful not to take too much powder on the skin because it, it will look white 
and it it is hard to kind of make it even on the skin but i really like this it takes away my pores makes my skin feel smooth and nice but if i had to wear i will choose this one this was a little bit easier to work with okay then now we had oh we forgot one thing i mean we, we had the powder but we forgot the foundation how could i forget the foundation if you are an old subscriber, maybe you know my favorite foundation ever. The, the foundation that I can't live without, the foundation that I always can trust whenever, wherever, for how many hours, doesn't matter. This, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place. This is my holy grail. I love this foundation. This is the best foundation ever, ever. Love this foundation. Now, we can continue. To contour my face, I will choose Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And I don't own many. I own this one and I also have the um, Anastasia. This is a dirty one. It's old. Use it for a long time. But I don't know. For some reason, I kind of like this shade more than I like this palette. So I will definitely choose this one. This is more affordable. Love it. Great product. Then for bronzer, okay, I, I couldn't pick two, one, I'm sorry, I really couldn't. But actually, it, it depends what you prefer. So I had to pick one bronzer, but I kind of cheated. So I picked one liquid and one um, powder. My favorite bron bronzer ever, it's one that I have on my skin today, is this from Cover FX, Costume and Hand Drops, Custom Drops. I love this is sun kissed. This is the best, the best bronzer ever. So if you want to invest in a liquid bronzer, I will tell you to buy this one. This makes my skin glowy, makes my skin look bronzy, not orange. It's not orange on my skin. I have it on my skin today. It's perfect shade for my skin tone. It's perfect shade for my skin tone. I love this bronzer. It's what I have on my skin today. And over there to set that bronzer, I did use my one, my, one of my favorite bronzers ever is this butter bronzer from uh, Physicians Formula. They came out with a palette with this bronzer and a blush. It smells beautiful and two highlighters and a perfume i think body spray something i want that i want it so bad but it's doesn't exist in sweden i can't they don't ship to sweden can't buy it anywhere and i'm very sad because i will do anything to get my hands on that palette i want it i want it so bad love this bronzer this on top of uh, this liquid it's a dream come true it's a dream come true a blush that i talked about when i first started my channel here on youtube and i don't think i talked about it for a couple of months uh, so if you haven't watched any of my other videos i can tell you that one of my favorite blushes <laughs> favorite blushes ever it's also one that i have on my cheeks today is this one from MAC. This is a fun ending from MAC. This is a perfect peachy rose shade. I love this shade. I love this shade. I don't know if you can see it here. I love this shade. It's buildable. It's not too pigmented. It's easy to build up, easy to blend. I love this and it goes with so many makeup looks. I love this blush and I always travel with this one. This is my favorite. For my eyebrows, the product that I always go back to when I want to have these kind of eyebrows, very nice, filled, beautiful, sharp. Uh, I always take this product. This is Revolution Brow Pomade Medium Brown and this is from, I don't know if they have new packaging and new pomades. This is the older one. It's a little bit dry, but I take a drop of oil and it works nice. They're ca I bought the new cushion product, cushion eyebrow cushion product. I don't know what it's called from Revolution Pro, and I bought it in medium brown, and it was too light. It was too light, and I was kind of disappointed because this is medium brown. I don't know. 
So the shades are maybe not the same, but I like this product. Then for my highlighter, I would definitely choose this one. This is from Ofra. This is uh, Nikki Tutorials and Ofra Highlighter Glow Goals. This one I have on my skin, but actually I have the other one, the, the white one, I forgot the name of it, over, because this is a little bit too dark for my skin tone. But I love this. I will use it. I don't care. It will look perfect when I get a little bit more tan. But I love this highlighter. I love this shade. This is a very unique shade. Love mixing it with the other one, what it's called. Uh, this one. This is Glazed Donut. So if I... I had to pick one highlighter. I like this one more than I like this one. But I like mixing these two together. It's what I have on my face today. I also like the new from an Anastasia highlighter. Let me take it. This one. Uh, I'm crazy. Love this highlighter too. Love it. But uh, what I want this blinding pick one. This this one is also beautiful. To set my makeup, I will definitely take pick always this one. This is Revolution Pro Supri Supreme Matte Finishing Spray. I love this spray. I really like it. I think it works good. It does keep my oils in control for. At least eight hours. I do get a little bit shiny on my nose and a little bit on T-zone, but it works good. It keeps my makeup in place. I like it. It's not expensive. Very nice. I like also the Fix Plus, but if I would choose, I would take this one. More affordable. Okay. Uh, did I forget something? I think... I'd, oh, eyeliner. Uh, I will take this Steve Laurent. This is Precision Tip Liner in Black. It's one that I have now, but you can't see because I wear falsies. This has nice tip. It's very easy to work with. doesn't bleed. Pigmented and I've been using it for months and it's still not dry. It's still very nice. I got actually this in my glossy box and I don't use always use eyeliner but I started using it and I like it. I like it a lot. So this eyeliner I do recommend it. Beautiful. I don't know how much it is though. No idea. I don't know if they have in other shades. I will check it, it check it out because this one is I do like. For the lips, right now I do have my favorite colorful lipstick. This is in Revier from Ultra Satin Kathleen Light and Colourpop collection. Love this lipstick. Uh, but for everyday look, the lipstick that I choose is one from Isadora Liquid Lip Cream in shade. Uh, berry Brown, 06 Berry Brown. I love this lipstick and I always get compliments when I use it, when I ho have it on my lips. It's a deeper plum shade. I like it a lot. It's flattering on many skin tones. Do like it a lot. Then a uh, lip gloss, lip gloss that I choose is from Bare Minerals. Uh, lip gloss that I choose is Sugar from Gloss uh, from Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals. Sugar. I love all of the shades. I, it's It was very hard to pick one because I have many favorites. But this one goes a little bit with the lipstick. So that, that is what I chose. Chose, it, chose this one. I like it. It's this here. And I have a video of it watching all of these uh, lip glosses. So I will put a card up here so you can watch it. Or the link down below if I forget to put a card up here. So, I think that was it. I think that's all. That's everything. No, no, no. We forgot one product. I, we forgot mascara. And this is from L'Oreal. This is Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. I love this mascara. I think it's, it's a favorite of many YouTubers. I love it. I'm very picky when it's when it comes to mascara because I want mascara my mascara to make my lashes full, long, black, beautiful, and and don't smudge for at least 12 hours. And I have oily T-zone and very oily eyelids, so I do have high hopes, picky when it comes to to mascara. And one that always delivers it's this from L'Oreal. Love it. I don't always wear eyelashes and I don't don't wear eyelashes uh, daily when I go to work, never. I like wearing eyelashes when I uh, film videos, YouTube videos. And that's the only time if it's not New Year or some weddings. But the ones that I really like 
are the ones that I have right now. They are, they're, not, they're a little bit heavy, but they are not too heavy. They have a long, but they're very easy to work with. And I actually got these on Wish. I actually bought these, these on Wish. This is three fashion eyelashes, three fox curls, glam, volume, and sexy. I don't know what brand it is. It says D02. And this is how they look in the packaging. I already used two. One I have on my eyes today and the others I don't know where they are. But I bought them on Wish and I kind of like these. Though I also like my Demi Wisps, Adele Demi Wisps. I like those too. They are more for everyday use. Uh, those I do have when I go to parties or a, a very fancy dinner. If I want full glam, this kind of make a look on my eyes, I go for this, like this. Eyeshadow palette was the hardest thing to pick because I have, I can't even remember, I have too many, high, too, too many eyeshadow palettes. And I love eyeshadow palettes, I'm a collector, so I will continue buying new eyeshadow palettes and trying them out because I love eyeshadow palettes. When I was trying to prepare for this video when I was preparing for this video I had to choose one and I did choose a palette that I always reach for when I go to work or when I want to trust my eyeshadows when I uh, just the palette that I really reach for every time and the palette that I always get compliments when I use this on my eyes it's this one yes it's Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette it's the it's very dirty if you say it's used and abused and it's going to be used and abused. I love this palette. I have the old packaging and I think there is a new packaging of this uh, with this palette and I think they had the names on the back of the palette but I have the old one and I will look and I was on the internet on the website the minute when it was la launched to buy this palette and I did uh, pay a lot for the shipping and take taxes and yeah everything that came with the shipping but it was worth it I love this palette I do really recommend this palette if you want an everyday palette that you also can create a glam makeup look play with some colors this is palette to go I really like this palette this is the best palette my favorite shades are this one this is silk cream uh, then this one it's uh, pooter uh, I also like uh, this MFEO. I like Beam. And the one shimmery that I'm obsessed with is this one here, Obsessed. It's called Obsessed and I'm obsessed. I love this. I think it's the best palette out there and I do recommend it. If you don't have it, go purchase it. You won't re re regret it. I also did purchase the Laura Lee new Deep Patootie palette that I'm waiting for. I'm so excited because I really want to do that palette. That's my dream palette. That, that When I saw those shades, I, I was like, I need to have it. So I did purchase it the second it came available on Beauty Bay. So I will stop talking because this video is already too long. Thank you so much, Valerie, for tagging me in this in your video. I tag everyone that haven't done this before. I tag everyone because I love watching these kind of videos where you can see a product that people love and are obsessed with. So if you want to do this tag, please do it. Uh, let me know so I can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload, I upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So thank you so much guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.